Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenru, and today we are playing Europa Universalis for Conquest of Paradise as Poland. England seems to be losing their war against Scotland and Ireland. They also lost their war against France, but they still have a cow or co, although it is being sieged by Burgundy. Castile got a personal union over Navarra almost on day one. Serbia annexed Bosnia. And uh, we vassalized the Livonian Order. Next up is a war against the Teutons, a second war against the Teuton, Teutons, where we should vassalize them. Yep. Just gotta wait for uh, three years to go by. In the meantime, we are regaining our manpower about halfway up in our res reserves, and Lunenburg took Hanover from Brunswick. So that's nice. Lunenburg doubled in size with just one little war. Cute. Oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, um, Lunenburg refused the demand for unlawful territory. Ah. So Lunenburg has a claim on Hanover, but they don't have a core. So the emperor demanded the land, and Lunenburg said no. <laughs> Understandably so. Hungary hates us. Oh, come on, Hungary. We can be pals. Uh, you. That is mine. Burgundy's trying to steal a, a dude, but I'm not, I won't allow it. Repay the loan, please. Okay, no problem. Are you going to keep your unions, Denmark? He still has zero prestige. I mean, he will keep it with 0 .08, but just barely. <laughs> he needs to keep those unions somehow. Livonia is improving relations with us. That's fine. Uh, Lithuania still loves us, that's great. Our prestige is decent, so that's fine. Uh, Leinster surrendered to Ireland. I mean, Leinster surrendered to England. No. England surrendered to Leinster, and they gave him Meath. Okay. So Scotland got nothing out of that war. Even though Scotland was beating the shit out of England, they got nothing out of that war. Well, that sucks. I guess because Leinster was the war leader somehow. Pomerania just annexed Mecklenburg. Yeah. That happens. And they went from friendly to hostile. Whoa. Okay. March of 54. Okay. And Pomerania refused the Emperor's demand for Mecklenburg. Well, that's not surprising. What is surprising is the Teutons do not want military access when, if they had it, they could go beat up Brandenburg. But since they don't have it, they can't beat up Brandenburg. Isn't that stupid? Hmm. The Hansa has declared war on Saxe Lauenburg. Okay. And the Teutons broke their alliance with Saxe Lauenburg instead of helping them. <laughs> oh, goodness. But Pomerania got involved, and so did Lunenburg. So the Hansa might get it next here. Bohemia is also at war with the Hansa. Whoa, the Hansa really did poke the bee's nest, didn't they? Ah, because Pomerania became the war leader. That's what happened. I need to get a war with Brunswick somehow to get Austria on my side on a war. Hmm, maybe alone? Alone might do. Here, we'll wait till January and we'll see if we can't offer them a loan or something. Excellent year. Ooh, manpower? Yeah, gain a thousand manpower. Okay, I'll take that. Hey, Brunswick, would you like a loan? No, just a couple ducats or something. They'll take a five ducat loan. Oh, I love it. I can't believe he wants five ducats. <laughs> five ducat loan. 
Austria is invading Augsburg? Why would happen? Austrian conquest of Augsburg. Oh, well, that's what happened. Uh, yeah, goodbye Augsburg. You have no allies or anything. Austria is just going to annex you. We'll wait until that siege is done before we declare war, I guess. Heresy. Uh-oh. Gain an Inquisitor. Get ten, get ten Papal Influence and the Philosopher John Lesowski dies. Or poison the Bishop's Lunch next time. Gain Admin Points and lose Papal Influence. Um, I kind of do like getting Admin Points, so give me the give me the Tech Points. I like Tech Points. Oh, poor uniforms, darn it. Oh, we don't have enough to tech up, do we? Yeah. Teching as an Eastern nation is a little bit expensive. It costs us 20% more than all the Western nations to um, increase our technology. So it's going to be a challenge to get this level 32 tech everything. But we'll do our best. We have an idea group coming up soon. I think we'll start with probably a military idea. And our diplomat came back. So just go back to Moldavia. Well, yeah, just go back to Moldavia for now. We will want to start annexing them as soon as uh, the war with the Teutons is over. Come on, Brunswick. Default on the loan. I need Brunswick to default on that loan. I need to go to war. I need Austria to join me. And he still does not want access. Damn it, I need you to get access so you can go get rid of this siege. Hmm, well, if he doesn't want it, he doesn't want it. I can't force him to get access. I can get relations up, that might do it. But he has me as a rival, so it probably wouldn't do it. Ah, tech up time. Very good. And I'm, I, I really don't need to take an idea group yet, so we just won't for now. We'll keep it available. We'll probably go for a defensive or something. Hey, Fraticelli Heretics. So that'll get rid of the siege. Nice. That's actually kind of interesting. Lithuania stole a cardinal. Everyone's stealing cardinals. We'll wait until we have 10 points or else we can't steal back. Austria is killing the rebels. God damn it, Austria. You're not at war with the Teutons. Why are you killing those rebels, Austria? That doesn't even make sense. You're helping Brandenburg with their siege. I hate you, Austria. <laughs> Worst ally ever. Denmark declared war on the Teutons. No! Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Denmark has a claim on Danzig. Oh, god damn it, Denmark. I'm not going to join you if you call me in the war. I can't believe this. No, you can't have access. Denmark, you, you dickhole. What is your problem? Uh, ba -ba -bum. Go to Poznan. Austria annexed Augsburg. Okay. One more year until we can declare war. But this is such a weird situation now, because Denmark has declared war. And they're winning just from blockades. They haven't dropped off any troops, because they probably can't defeat that army there. Let me split in half. And uh, can I please get you to default on that? They still haven't defaulted on that loan. I'm surprised. Provence and the Pope are at war. Okay. We almost have full manpower now. Now might be a good time to get our troops up. We have, let's see, 
four cav and ten, ten infantry. Let's get uh, two more infantry and two more cav. No, you can't have access, Bavaria. I'm sorry. God, it's such a weird situation. Everyone's at war with the Teutons. No. Sweden? No. Brandenburg? No. Norway? No. And they have not defaulted on their damn loan. I need them to. <laughs> I just do. Huh, he moved out of his capital. Ah, because Denmark landed troops. Alright, come January, we're going to come out of Moldavia. And yeah, the Hansa lost that war. Big surprise. They were at war with like half of Europe. Well, half of the HRE. Okay, here we go. Come back. And we have to wait until March, right? March 22nd, okay. There goes the Danish army. No, they still have a little stack here. But they're really hurting now. Uh, that means they might, use, they might lose their unions, yeah. If they lose this war with the Teutons, they're probably going to lose their unions, and that's just hilarious. I'm not sure if that's good or bad for us. Oh, the King of Burgundy died, but they didn't split. They got a regency. Huh. Okay, March 2nd. Saint Proclaim gained free stability. Nice, free stability. Okay, March 25th, we can do it now. Denmark and Austria want to join, that works for me. has joined me. Good. And the Teutonic Order did give Neumark to Brandenburg. God damn it. sucks. And Denmark's not going to leave. I need them to leave. They're not going to leave. Fuck me. Fuck. I don't think we can even get our war score high enough to vassalize them without getting Donjig. But we can't get Donjig because Denmark's sieging it, not us. I'm just going to go home then. Fuck you, Denmark. Fucking hell. That's some serious bullshit right there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Denmark better not get that province. We can't form the Commonwealth if Denmark gets that province. Can we steal this guy back? Yes, we can, but he's so old now. I'm not even sure we want to steal these guys back. They're the oldest two guys. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we'll probably just ignore him. We'll go for the young guy down here. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go to war with Denmark. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to keep their unions, though. Well, no, they might get their... No, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely get their prestige back if they take Donjig in this war. And the timing just could not have been worse. Alright, come back. And let's start looking at what peace deals are going to be available. Yep, Denmark took Donjig. God damn it. <sighs> Re incorporate Mazovia, convert Padolia to Catholic, claim Breslau. Right, let's go ahead and incorporate Mazovia, because that mission we're doing already. Okay, everyone go home. God damn it. We need Donjig, but uh, Denmark has... Oh, no, they still have negative prestige. Okay, go ahead and die. He's 39. Go ahead and die. Die, lose, lose your unions, and then we can go ahead and declare war. Go take that back for my vassal. Let's sell him Mamel, because I don't want to core that shit. Okay. Group up. Hmm. They lost two provinces. They lost Neumark and Danzig. Neumark, I could see that just... I don't really care that much. But Danzig, oh man, base 12 tax? That's just not fair. That is not fair. And even though they won that war, Denmark managed to lose prestige somehow. Maybe through an event or something. Kind of sucks for them. Let's start the annexation of Moldavia. Can I get a statesman or anything to make this go a little faster? Yeah, but he's level 2. I can't afford a level 2. Well, I guess I could, actually. Just barely. 1.1 ducats versus 4.4. I'm making 3. Yeah, it's almost exactly... I'd make zero ducats if I did this. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not that important. Man, that sucks. Well, what does Lithuania think of us? They still like us. Austria still likes us. Denmark likes us, but we're not going to keep that uh, relationship with Denmark for so long, because we need Danzig. I wonder if we can just support rebels there. They have 8% revolt risk. Yeah, that might be a good plan. As soon as we finish integrating Mazovia, we'll try to get rebels to spawn here. Teutonic rebels would be great. Prussian rebels. Bohemia is integrating Silesia. That's fine. Hmm. England's got some rebels, but... Yeah, they seem pretty much fine. So they survived. They didn't really lose much land. They, they survived pretty much okay. Leinster annexed Connacht. That's amusing. 
Aragon still has her uni over Naples. Okay. And Austria hates Hungary. That's good for me. Gift to the state. Gain some prestige or some money. I'll take the prestige. I like prestige. We don't have the tech for any buildings, do we? Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, let's throw some temples around. We don't have the tech for temples yet. God damn it, Denmark. Let's see. Getting Mazovia is going to give us 3, 10, 12, 13. We're going to get 13 base tax out of Mazovia. That's nice. Moscow declare war on Novgorod again. Big surprise. Novgorod who has no allies. They never do. The only ally I ever see Novgorod get is Scotland. And it's like, yeah, Scotland's not going to help you against Muscovy invading. But they go for that alliance anyway for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, he got prestige somehow. Must, must have had a nice event. Damn it. I was really hoping he would lose that. No, you can't have access, Brandenburg. I don't like you. You smell. I guess what we could do if we wanted to get into war with Denmark is we could declare on Riga. No one has any claims on it, though. I was going to say we could sell it to the Teutons since it's Prussian, but no one has any claims on it for some reason. You would think the Livonian Order would have a claim on Riga, but they don't. <laughs> they just don't for some reason. Venice has declared war on the Mamluks. Really? Venetian conquest of Cyprus. That's probably not the best idea, Venice. Although, I don't know, Venice and Venetian navy is pretty good. Still. Very weird. <laughs> anyway, why don't we call that an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, come back next time where we will integrate Mazovia and see if we can't get Danzig to flip to our vassal. That'd be fantastic. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.